Three, two, one. Under strict safety protocols within the Air Force Civil Engineer Center's Specialized Ballistics Range Facility on Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida, the process is relatively straightforward. Fire a shot, check to determine the range as safe, inspect and document the results, reload and repeat several times. We not only bring in new materials to the warfighter, but also we need to test those materials when you are in a combat environment. So you need to test what is their strength and how they're going to react to munitions. Experts from the Air Force, Army, and the Navy all have an interest in testing the ballistics effects on additively manufactured or 3D printed concrete wall samples when fired upon by various calibers of ammunition. Additive manufacturing is the industrial production name for 3D printing, a computer controlled process that creates three-dimensional objects by depositing desired materials, including wet concrete, usually in layers. The Navy is a customer with this uh, 3D printed wall. The Army actually prepared and manufactured it, and then we here in the Air Force were testing it for ballistics, and we're also informing our own additive manufacturing program. This critical testing carried out within this state-of-the-art ballistics range was one of the missions that had to be recovered after Category 5 Hurricane Michael's devastation of central northwest Florida in late 2018. It was under six feet of water during Hurricane Michael and we've uh, reconstituted it uh, from the ground up. We had to buy all new equipment to get it back where it needs to be. In the relationship with AFCAC is great and, and we can work together and share the expertise and knowledge because at, this, at the end of the day we're working for DOD and we share resources. And for us at Civil Engineer Center, it's all about the facility. You know, where do we put our airmen downrange? How do we protect them? For the Air Force Installation and Mission Support Center, I'm Brian Godden.